everyone, I'm Caroline and welcome to my home on the hillside here in Wales. Today I thought we'd have another haul video. It is Tuesday and I've been to the thrift stores or charity shops and I've got some goodies. So let's move these out of the way and have a look what I got. And the first thing I'll show you is something sensible. I picked this up for a pound because I've been wanting to get some hangers for when I alter frames. And this seems to have a really good selection in it. You've got wires and um, little mini kapok things. We've got these. Not quite sure how they work. But these little things you tack. Oh, they're all joined together. You tack those onto the back of a picture frame. There are these little sharp bits for uh, some sort of holding the back in into the frame. So there's a good selection there. Lots of bits and pieces, some nice nails too, for a pound. Right, I'm going to try and keep myself organised. So we'll put that there and bring this out. Now this, I paid more than I would normally pay for this. My favourite price is a pound, but my husband was with me and he fell in love with this. He thought it was wonderful, but it was one pound fifty. <gasps> Ooh, big money. So I thought, go on, and if he likes it, I'll get it and I'll make something for Easter with it. So I'm... Thinking I'll probably put him on some sort of plank or plinth with a little message or a sign, perhaps some florals in here, perhaps Easter eggs. Mm, could be a little fluffy Easter bunny. I'm not quite sure yet, but he does look very cute, doesn't he? As if he's saying, hello, I really like you. Do you like me? Right, you go and sit over there and I'll show you. Now, I've got these. They're all exactly the same, but they were 10 feet. So I'll open it up. And they're these little votive holders or candle holders for those little night lights, tea lights. And sometimes I find things, but they don't have these with them. Obviously, they're the first thing to break and then people pop things into the charity shop. And they're not much good to me without these. But now <laughs> I'm fully armed with how many? One, two, three, four, five of them for 50p. So I thought they would be very useful. Let's move those over there and get out this which i have no idea what's in here i bought it and i can't remember now it's some form of glass but i'm not sure what it is if i'm right it may not be oh yes it is i remember now it's a pro soy metals it's a hand poured in wales paradise beach soy wax vegan friendly and cruelty free candle well it's not it's just the jar Somebody had a very posh candle and then they put the jar into the charity shop. They have even cleaned it out nicely for me. It's got like a frosted appearance on it. Lovely firm ceiling lid. So that, I think 50p, was it? Or was it 10p? I think it may have been 10p actually. Not quite sure. I think this was 10. But anyway, it's very useful. So I'll definitely be using that. And another thing you will have seen at the beginning was this. Now, I'm not so keen on the lid. It's a terrible fit. Look at that. If I show you the front, it's a sack. And I'm thinking I could do some really fun things with this. You could either have like an autumnal display with uh, things like wheat and things coming out of it for harvest time. You could have it filled with Easter eggs or stick an Easter bunny in it for Easter. Stick an Easter bunny in everything now. <laughs> and... Paint it up with a nice cream colour, I think, and then dry brush it with a little bit of darker colour, possibly. I may get some antique wax and try that on it because it's got these deep places that make it look like it's made of sacking or hessian. And I may or may not keep the lid. It's not looking good. I don't like that lid. But this cost me, oh, sorry for the clattering, one pound. Put that there and I'll show you my 50p bag, which is bonkers. It's this. It's a big plastic teapot. It says on the bottom, Leicester and Sons, Birmingham. There. And, oh, the receipt's inside. But it's got no handle on it. So I thought maybe it was like it had a, a wire handle, a bit like the Japanese or Chinese teapots. So I don't know whether to make a handle, which I probably am going to do, out of plastic, join it on, and then I'm going to paint this up to look like either china or a lovely stoneware. I'm not quite sure which yet, but I reckon that that has got a lot of potential for 50p. And also, it's a big teapot, but it's so light. 
<laughs> that's not going to be no problem to work with at all and it's going to glue onto things really easily you could even have it how can i show you that pouring out like that into a cup with flowers coming out of the spout couldn't i mm. <laughs> Ooh, i can't wait to use this one and red is always a good color right disappearing down to my bag of goodies and i've got this which cost two pounds it's from next it's a group of i can't even fit it all on it's six picture frames and it's hanging it's got this bit of rope here and then that carries down i think it's a thinner rope carrying down through now i reckon oh there's only five i thought there were six yeah i can't even count lately one two three four five yes five right so that has changed my plan a little I was going to make a little shelf unit from these. Now, I can still make a little shelf unit, but it's going to be one shelf short. So, one shelf short. That's difficult to say. So, I'm either going to come up with a new idea for it. I could make a lantern, a short lantern, and you could see the flame through the heart. Mm, now, that is tempting. So, I don't know quite what I'm going to do with that yet. And there's this really nice piece of card on the back I can use too. Well, the clean bits. That bit's rather grubby. <coughs> Excuse me. And next we have <clears throat> a bowl. Costs one pound. It's very grubby. But it's not. It's like a tatsa type thing. And it says on the bottom, a teleflora gift at Teleflora. So I assume somebody ordered flowers and it came to a friend with a, a bouquet in or perhaps some fruit. I'm not quite sure. But these bowls are really pretty. I don't know whether they'll be staying. They probably won't. But this is great either to use like that to put a display in or if I, well, I probably haven't got much I can show you, but if I put something like, turn it upside down and put that on it, you've got yourself Something like that, that you could use your wild imagination on and come up with anything. A lantern, perhaps. A gumball machine. So, I think I can have a lot of fun with that. I, could even, I wonder if my teapot will fit in. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work, is it? No, so we won't be putting the teapot in there. But it was always worth a try. The more you play around with the things you've got, the more ideas you come up with and the more things you find are really not going to work. Moving down to my bag again. Oh, that's one bag empty already. And I'm on to the next bag. Oh, this is a heavy one. Now, I went back to the shop that sells something for 50p and bought too many. Oh, dear. Let's see if I can show you. And see if you can guess while it's on the way. Frames are 50p. Now, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six frames all ready to go if I didn't want to do any form of craft on them. They've got a lovely finish to them. I think there may be some marks here and there because they're all joined. But if I turn it over, they are actually, whoops, sorry for the clattering again, individually fixed together and they don't seem to have been glued. So as you can see, that one's been cut there. But look at all those frames for 50p. And if I wanted to, it's a oh, multi six app frame grey. I could use it as it is. It's even got a stand on the back. That's really difficult to see at this angle, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> that's not much better. But you get it. If I turn it round, you can see there's the stand that would lift up. So I couldn't resist that. I thought, well, 50p, I'd be quite happy to pay for like just this heart frame. And it's a shame that one's taken from the edge there. But what I can do is now it'll probably be a standing up frame. So, it's not always bad news. So, I'm going to have a lot of fun with that, taking it apart. Very pretty thing. But I couldn't stop there. There were other frames I fancied too. Put that down there. And bring up the next one. And it's this. It's a big heart. I mean, what more could you say about it? But hearts are so useful. I always pick them up when I see them. You can see the back comes off, so you can put something in it. You could put a mirror in it and then decorate it. I could... It's tempting to do something quite simple with this and just put a paper on there and then sand off the edges and use it as a frame. But then again, when have I ever gone for the simple thing to do with things like this? So it's probably going to turn out completely different to that. 
and there are more frames. Oh, I got this one and it's got, it's called Summerfield. Hmm, you can see my mister on. I love the way this frame has been aged. So there's not a lot of work to do on these. But there's another one. So that is what really drew me to these. Look at that, a pair of identical frames. That one says Lavender and that one says Summerfield by A. Melian, I think it is. And if we turn them over, oh, I didn't notice that. Very posh there, Laura Ashley. Ooh, I wonder if they're vintage too. They may be, you never know. Ooh, I'll have to check into those, but they are, they just looked. You could tell some of the frames in that box that look a bit cheap, but these ones I thought looked quite wonderful. I would prefer them if this was white with these bits of cream. So that's probably what I'll do to them. Probably. The more I look at them, the more I really like them, though. I don't know. <laughs> you'll check in a couple of weeks. You'll see me doing something with them or not. Um, they may just be hanging up by my dresser. Now, this one, I can take these hearts off. They're only loosely attached. I don't know if you can see there. Plus, it's got these two nice hanger hooks. And I'm not quite sure again what I'm going to do with this. Oh, well, that, I think... No, it isn't snapped. It's got a hole up inside. So I'm going to do something with that. I could, I think it would be, for me, a bit lazy to just take it as it is, stick some pictures in it and move on. I need to do something to it, but I don't know what. I do love a challenge, so I'll come up with something there. But I think these hooks will be going. I don't think they suit the picture at all. So I'll put that down there. And I've got to go with my bear. And thank you for all the wonderful comments you've had on names to give to bear. You said quite a selection. I got this. It's a cat. Look at that. It's a very snooty looking cat, isn't it? It's very sort of, oh, I am wonderful. Very cute nonetheless. Hole up inside him. They must be, they must do that to hold it still while they're carving it or something. And that cost me one pound. So put the, if you've got any suggestions for the name of the cat, then I'd love to hear them. <laughs> Ah, let's have a look. Are we going to get this video done in 20 minutes? Oh, I think we'll be in good time today. I got this candle and it runs on batteries. It's corroded a little bit, but I can sort that out. You can clean off these contacts or buy new ones if you need to. And I love these because a lot of the things I make that I put a candle in, I wouldn't put a real flame in because I'd be worried. I'm not sure that they're flame proof. A lot of the things where they come to me, I have no idea. The original tags are gone. I'm not sure what paints I use are flame proof, but you can use these. They look fabulous. They even twitter, twink, twinkle. That's the word, isn't it? Twinkle a little bit. It needs a good clean in there. And they feel very much like wax candles too. Well, they've even got all little dents on them. So I think that maybe the outer is made of wax. So that 50p, they're really expensive if you buy them in the shop. I was amazed to see the price new on these. So I'll pop that there. Back down to my bag again. And I've got something in some paper. Now I got three of these. And I can't show you the third one because it's already been used in one of my craft projects for Friday. So stay tuned for that and you'll see it appearing. Now that one says £20 and that one says 20p. But they'd accidentally written pounds. They were 20p. I would not pay £20 for that. But for 20p, look how pretty they are. They're just gorgeous. Now, admittedly, they'd be worth a lot more if they had the cups, which they don't have. And on the back is England and registered 175636 and 49 so i'm not quite sure who actually made these but they're gorgeous now the one i've used i've actually turned it upside down so i've painted this side but the other side if ever he decided i wanted to take that particular craft apart i just have to turn it over and all the pretty decoration is still there so i still have these two to go and what should i make with these well, I could turn them into candlesticks. I could use them as a piece of wall art and they could become flowers and I could put a centre in there. I don't think they'd work as a dish with a lid. Let's have a look. No. Oh, actually, that's interesting, isn't it? If I put a knob on there to lift it, they do fit together quite well. 
Ooh, another idea, something, food for thought. I shall sure think, oh, they look quite nice like that too. You can see that does look like all the petals on a flower. Oh, I like that. <laughs> so there we go. Not 20 pounds, 20p. And let's have a look in my bag. I've got a few big things now to finish up with. I've got this. Now this to me looks very mid-century modern. I could be wrong. It could be something that's from Ikea. But it's got a bubble in the bottom there, which makes me think, if I can show you on there, it just makes me think that it's possibly older. Not very old, uh, perhaps. I'm not quite sure. I, the more I look at it, the more unsure I become. At first I thought well, it could be 60s, perhaps 50s, but now I'm not so sure. So have you seen these? Have you seen them in TK Maxx or something like that? And I'm barking completely up the wrong tree and it's like six months old. But it cost me one pound. And I can either leave it as it is, or I can just put a little bit of paint on the surface with a dry brush to bring out the pattern. I could paint it all. I'd probably leave this as it is, or could I put a ribbon around it? Which way up would I use it? That's one thing I like to do when I get something. I think, right, so this is a vase or a vase, and that's the way it's supposed to be. But that doesn't mean that's the way it has to be. So if I turned it up that way, then I've got a pretty solid base. It almost looks like a weird sort of cloche. I could use it to then stand um, a teapot on <laughs> because I've got a teapot handy. Um, I don't think I've got this plate. just isn't big enough to show you there, but you could put like a bigger plate on it. So there are several things you could do with this. It actually, you could even put some lights in it and then up that way or the other way, make a nice lamppost that way then you could actually have it lit up and looking spectacular. Oh, it's got another bubble there. Now, is that a poor modern day process has caused that? Or is it older? Let's have a look under here. Is there that little pontil mark? It's been ground out. No, it's a shame. It is moulded, I think, or blo mould blown. So it was blown into a mould, I think. Not quite sure. I don't think it's been sanded out there. So what do you think? Let me know how old you think this vase is or this. But for a pound, I thought I'm going to take it. It's unusual enough that even if it's six months old, I can do something fun with it. Down I go again. And a bit of a wood theme here. I've got a bowl. And interesting, I find. Now, it doesn't say on this one, but I have seen some of these and they've got a sticker on the bottom and it says not for food use. Now, some wooden bowls come to me and there's no sticker. So did those stickers say not for food use? And it's the same with some china too. So I, if ever I get something from a charity shop, unless it's still got the sticker saying it's okay, or like this one doesn't say not to use it for food use, then I would definitely, if I was selling something, I'd let the person know it's not for use for food and I'd never use it for food it myself. Now, this is interesting. It's imported for Woolworths. And wool was shut down a few years ago, so it's certainly not new. But it's a lovely bowl, cost me one pound. Doesn't everything. And so I got that. It can be the base of something. Oh, I could put my lamp on it. Mm, I wonder if I could put it that way. No, that's rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> the reader. Oh, I suppose it looks like a table lamp or a mushroom. Yeah, it's a mushroom. Hmm. <laughs> No, I don't think so. I think I'll find something else to do with this. And I got something else here on a wood theme. It's this big bowl. Now, this looks older. This was, again, one pound. And there's nothing on the bottom. Now, I'm wondering, I think it's too deep to be a, like a church collection bowl. I think it probably was a fruit bowl. But I was thinking I could perhaps turn this one and that one into a two-tier tray. And... Oh put some staining on them so they both match, something like that. Again, this could be the foot for a very big lamp. What would that look like on there? Not so good that way. Hmm. No, <laughs> no, that's no good either. Will that fit on there? What about that way? No, that's not going to happen. So I'm going to come up with something for a pound. I think I can do something with these. Even if I decorate them, I got some clay mould so I can put some flowers and leaves around here and then paint it so it's got some lovely patterning on it. 
And I got, surprise, surprise, this was hiding under the big bowl, another one of those. So I can make a ball. Oh, I've got a ball. Well, it's a bit of a flat bottom and flat top ball. I can make some coconut horse noises. However they do it. <laughs> so I've got two of those. Oh, I was thinking, I was looking at you, thinking, why is that? I've got X2, of course. I had these both for one pound. Oh, there's something else. Well, I'll be with you in a second. Oh, oops. Three metal things. So I'll show you this first. This says Inspire. And it's a solid metal. I think it's alloy. I don't think it's brass. It could be. It's heavy for an alloy, but light for brass, if you see what I mean. So I'm not sure. And I got this. It was in the photo frame box. So I had it for 50p. And I'm really pleased with that. And then this was 50p, which I thought would, if I move that out of the way a second, I thought I could use that either as a vase, but I don't think I will. I'd like to use this as some sort of stand. So this isn't a very good thing to show you. I could show you with this. I could put something on there like that. And then you've got like a display. I could even, I suppose, put that on the bottom, that there and that there. No, I don't like that. But I think with something like that on, I think that could be really pretty. So I don't know exactly what I'm doing with that, but it's going to go in my stash of glass, pretty coloured things. And even this summer, I may make some things to go down the garden, some flowers and things from all the different pretty coloured glasses that I get. And finally is this. Now it says it's cost me 50p. There's no place like home, it says on the front, but inside there are two things. There's this candle, which doesn't fit in. Oh, wait, it does fit in. Gosh, this one doesn't fit in, that's right. I can't get that one to fit through. But I think the battery's gone in it. Mine like this are very fiddly. You've got to wiggle the battery rather than turn them on and off to get them to work. So if that works, well, that's a nice little thing. But I love these because you can light the candle and then you haven't got to light it and drop it in. And if you can't find your long candle lighter, you light it there with a match. And then you can screw the top shut and you've got your candle in there. So I'm going to take that off, I think, and do something special with that. I've got an idea in mind. I want to do a few different bottle updos and jars and things. And so I think I'll include this too and do a video with all that sort of thing. I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying out what I've got in my head on this. Now, whether it'll work, I don't know, but we'll give it a try. So thank you for watching my video and a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed, watched my videos, commented on my videos, given me a thumbs up on my videos. I really do appreciate you all. And it is so kind of you to do these things on my videos. I just love it. I'll see you all next time. But until then, don't forget, have fun. Bye.